Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and a friend of mine needed some help on Blend, and there's several ways to do this, but this might be the easiest way. I actually used his two colors. He had some purple. Now, Mike, this video, he's doing it for a, a new sublimation printer, an inkjet printer. You need to really check whether your colors are going to be RGB or CYMKs. Because that would make a difference. So if you if there's RGB, you're ready to go with your laser stuff. But if it's uh, the other color palette, you need to think about that. So I, I made a blend. Because there's really no way to blend inside this. But what I did do, I took his letters apart. So I just clicked on the text, went to arrange, and I broke them apart. So now you have individual letters. And then depending on how many letters you would make, you need to have that many copies of that. I've got three made, and we'll just make another one, four, and we'll do these four letters. So I'd always make an extra to do the other letters. But then go to Arrange and Power Clip, Place Inside Frame, and there you go. Go to Arrange, Place Inside Frame. And there's your blend that would be pretty cool on, on something printed. It's going from purple to, to a light blue. And you can change the intensity of this with the blend tool, blend tool down here. You get this slide bar and you can slide it back and have more blue, more purple. Uh, you kind of want it in the middle, I guess, because you want it uh, done like that. So how I did that and actually used your colors, I'm going to take a two-point line, holding down the control button and make it perfect, control D, and then make it at least as tall as your letters are. We're going to move it over here a little bit. And I'm going to hit L on the keyboard to get them aligned. And then I'm going to go to my attribute or color eyedropper. And I'm going to pick that purple, and I'm going to put on the top line. So I made that top line purple. I'm going to grab my color eyedropper. I'm going to pick your... I well, was having trouble picking that blue. You know what, I, maybe I need to start over. There we go. And then we can make that blue. Now I would make these lines a little bit thicker. So we're going to pick one at a time. You don't have to make them thicker, but uh, a little bit thicker is going to make a better blend, I think. So I'm going to make them both 1.5 thickness. And then open up under effects, open up the blend docker. And select your two lines. And then I would suggest to pump this up to about 200 and hit apply. And there's your blend. Then again, you can always take this and change it. You know, make it more purple, less purple, or whatever. And then just make you copies of that. Let's zoom in a little bit. Grab this shape. Go up to arrange. Power clip, place inside frame, and there you go. Pretty easy, pretty simple. You would just need to make enough copies. I don't think you can blend it after it's in the power clip, so you need to think about that. There's really no else way to do it. Um, you know what? Let's let's back up here. Where I broke those that text apart. Let's see if this is no, nope, they're still broken apart. So there we have one word. Let's just make this bigger by quite a bit and see if this works. Then go to arrange power clip place inside frame and see if it doesn't do all the letters at once and Voila, it does. So that'll save you a little time.
Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.